Hello, my name is Dr. Cat, and today I am here to talk to you about a serious epidemic that has been squandering our world for the past many decades and years and lives. And this disease is called a bibliophiliac. If you notice any of the following symptoms, definitely contact your doctor or definitely contact the number 1-800-BIBLIOPHILIAC for more information about this serious disease. Once again, if you see any of the following symptoms, I would definitely contact your doctor right away because this is a serious illness, people. Serious illness. Symptom one, attack those that interrupt you. I saw this really cool app that you definitely need to see. It's just the coolest thing in the world that you could ever see. Can you not see I'm reading? I mean, seriously, did it not just look like I'm reading? Do I need to put, like, a curse on you? Is that what I need to do? Because I was reading. I was in the middle of a tense part, and you interrupted me. Do you know what you just did? You just ruined the whole cycle of reading. But I just wanted to show you. You just wanted to show me? Do you know that I was in the middle of something so important? I... I just honestly should go find my wand and I just need to curse you. I'm gonna go now. Symptom 2. We'll ditch hanging out with people to finish a book. Hey Abs, what's up? Oh, you, you, you wanna go to the cities to go shopping? Oh. Well, I, I, I don't know if I can go. I'm in the middle of something so important right now. Reading? No, of course not I'm reading. I'm not... No. I just, I just have a lot going on right now. I'm, I have a lot of plans today. No, no, I'm not ditching you for b a book, Abs. I, I, I promise I'm not ditching you for a book at all that you know I would never do that you're like my you're my best friend I would never do such a thing no I I promise I'm not lying not at all you know I would never lie to you uh, Abby I think I think I'm I think you're breaking up I'm about to go I, I I'm going underwater I will talk to you later Symptom 3. You can't tell the difference between reality or fiction. What are you doing? Oh, you know, I'm just, I got my letter from Hogwarts today and I just, I really, I just really need to start packing for it. You know, it's gonna, I'm gonna be gone for a year in a foreign country and I really just, I need to, you know, start packing for it and everything. I mean, I still have to go get my wand. I still have to go get my robes fitted. I, I just have so much to do before going to Hogwarts. And I just, I can't, you know, I gotta get this, I gotta get all of this packed still, and I haven't gotten packed. Cat Hogwarts doesn't exist? What do you mean it doesn't exist? Of course it exists. I mean, you know, I mean, I got a letter for it. See? My letter, it says, Katarina Thorson, and it has everything on it. It, it. it has the Hogwarts symbol on it. Don't you see? Cat, that's a letter from the university. Um, I think we need to go get you help. Hogwarts doesn't exist. It's a magical place in a book there, dear. And I think we can work out your problems at a psychiatric ward. So, how about you start packing for that? Obviously, you're the one that's crazy there because of the fact that Hogwarts does exist. And I got a letter from it and I think you're just jealous because of the fact that you do not have a invitation to Hogwarts, you know? And I'm definitely excited because the sorting hat is gonna sort me into a house that is fitted for me. Maybe I'll be sorted into Hufflepuff or Gryffindor. You don't know that. I mean, wouldn't it be so cool to be sorted into Gryffindor for my wits and everything, you know? I mean, do you think that I should pack this? Symptom for over excessive book buying. Oh my god. Book Outlet has a $5 coupon. 
I just bought books the other day, but you know what? Because of this $5 coupon, I definitely, I think I can do this. I'm going to buy more. I mean, I haven't read the books that I bought, and that was only like, you know, 20-some books that I bought, but that's okay. I mean, I think I'm going to do this, and then I think I'm also going to check out Amazon and buy some books from there. Oh, and then I also want another copy of that because of the fact that that is, I have it in paperback, but I really want one of my shelves to, you know, be all in hardback and start getting that really professional look on my shelves. And the final symptom of a bibliophiliac is the fact that you tend to feel the character's emotional and physical pain as if it's your own. Oh my gosh, poor Farah! I just, I can feel it. I just, I just feel so bad for her. Oh my gosh, I understand what you're going through, Farah. I really do. Oh my gosh, that it, it just hurts and I just don't know what to do. I just, oh my god, I'm just so sorry. I understand you. I connect with you, Farah. I, I, I really do. I, I connect with you 100%. Like, we're like soul sisters, you know? In the stomach. Oh my god, that hurt. That hurt. Okay. We're good. We got this. We got this, Farah. We got this. We can pull through that hit. We can definitely- Oh my god. You just got hit again. Oh, I feel- I felt that. I definitely, definitely felt that. I mean, I'm gonna have a black eye now, but- I definitely felt that. Um, I, I, I think we need to fight back, Farah. I think we really need to hit back now, or we're just gonna have more bruises all over our body. Like I said before, if you noticed any of those following symptoms, definitely contact your doctor because of the, you might have a serious case of bibliophilism. Also contact your closest psych ward because they will definitely help you as well. Also remember to like this video for more videos and definitely remember to subscribe to this video. Also leave your comments below if you need help with your bibliophilism or if you need somebody to talk to or group therapy, definitely leave your comments below and we will help you. I hope you all have a good day and remember to watch out for those symptoms. Bye!